What is going on everyone? This is Bill and I am at the Wisconsin State Fair today. I'm going to go try out a bunch of new food. So if you guys are not familiar with the State Fair, basically they always have new food items and there's an award that is given out. It's called the Sporky's Award. So essentially what happens is that they take all the new food items, they narrow it down to like six or seven, and then a panel of judges votes on them, and then you get your top three. So today, we're gonna try those top three Sporky Awards, and then maybe find some other things to eat along the way. So uh, hopefully you guys enjoy this journey. Glad you're here. See you in a second. Now, if you're coming to the State Fair, one of the things that you'll be able to do is find those Sporky's contestants with the sign. So uh, you can see here we're in front of Saz's, so they have one, and then there's one down yonder as well. So uh, we're gonna go look for the three winners and uh, try them out. I think I'm gonna start with the third one. So let's go uh, see if I can figure out where it's at. Well, I was already at the first one. So uh, coming in third is a deep fried apple pie by Saz's. So let's go uh, grab that and check it out. All right, so here's that fried apple pie from Saz's. It's got a caramel drizzle on top. It is, it's hefty. All right, let's get into this. Mm. This is the first thing I'm having today. Great way to start my day of eating is with breakfast. Um, super, super apple pie filling flavors. Um, cinnamon and sugar on the top. Nice crunchy uh, exterior here. Mmm. and all that fun pie filling. Yeah. It's really good. I can see why it's one of the finalists. Now it came in third, but I'm gonna try the other two and I think I'm gonna give my own rankings to these, so. All right guys, round one in the books. Let's go find uh, what number two is, huh? All right guys, so I found the second runner up, second winner, second place. I don't know, it's over here at Camp Bar and it's called a Porky Sunday. Let's go find out what that's all about, huh? Let's go check it out. Oh boy. Oh boy. Let's go eat this thing, huh? All right, so I got the Porky Sunday. Oh, there's so much stuff in here. I can't remember it all, let me explain what it is. So there's vanilla custard, cheesecake chunks, there's caramel, hot fudge, graham cracker cookies, a uh, chocolate dipped bacon, and a cherry. This thing is massive. It's like enough for two people, and I'm only one. Oh, it's just spilling all over. It's so hot out here today, guys. Oh, all right. This is really good so far. Mm. It's definitely overfilling. I'm gonna have to go get 10 napkins to clean up my mess over here. Yeah, those cheesecake chunks are really, really tasty. I might have a hard time eating this. Oh. But, yeah, I'm gonna see if I can dig down a little bit deeper in here. My God, this is a messy, messy meal. It's a good thing they got seating out front here. I'm gonna dripping all over the place. But on a hot day, 
this is a, a this is a great meal. Call it a meal, but is it a meal? Is it dessert? Now there's enough calories in here probably to make it a meal. Mm. Now I know with the number three, I saw the price, it was $7.50. This Sunday is $15. It's, um, it's a pretty hefty price tag, in my opinion, for a Sunday, but there's a lot of stuff in here. Maybe the bacon is what made it so expensive. Oh my goodness. There we go. Don't have enough hands. <laughs> I love bacon. Oh, really good bacon. All right. I got it down enough that it's not going to melt all over the table. I'm going to go clean up. Maybe have a couple more bites. And then I'm going to go find number one. Number one's a savory dish, which I'm excited about because this is already way too much sugar for me. All right. I'll be right back. All right, guys. I found the winner. It's here at Worst Bar. It is a beer cheese lava cake. That sounds, or is that, did I say cake? I don't know, is that what it's called? Yeah, it's called a, it's called a beer cheese lava cake. Let's go find out what that is. But this is the first one. You know what, kind of incidentally, all three restaurants are literally like right next to each other. I was just down the street a little bit for third place. Second place is at Camp Bar right next door. So let's go to Worst Bar, let's go grab that. So I got the number one winner, a Wisconsin beer cheese lava cake. Now, being Wisconsin, obviously cheese, but this isn't in a cake per se, which is why I was confused earlier. It's in a pretzel bun. So take a look at this. All right, and they drizzled some honey on top. It looks like a little bit of salt. So yeah, this looks pretty good. Um, I'm just gonna try and break into this and see does it lava? And that, th that answer is actually no. Um, I was expecting it to like ooze out. And that's not the case here, so. But it is like a beer cheese pretzel. Yeah, this is very good. I can see why it was a clear winner out of all of them. Now, again, there are quite a few different finalists. Um, I did print this out at home before I got here. Um, so there was this Wisconsin beer cheese, uh, lava cake, there was coastal corn nuggets, uh, the deep fried apple pie we talked about, there's a dill pickle donut. I'm not gonna do that today, I'm actually saving that for Saturday. Um, an Irish dipper sandwich, the porky sundae, sweet and savory funnel cake, and a Wisconsin quesadilla. So I don't know how they pick the finalists for these. Um, you know, I'm more of a savory versus sweet. The fact that there was two sweet items that made the top three and one savory. The savory won, but I think I would have liked to see more of the savory. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna go find some other stuff. This isn't the end of the video. I tried the three winners of the Sporky's Award. They're good, they're fine. Um, this is the best of all of them. Uh, you get two of these balls, it's $11 for this. State Fair food is pricey, um, but it is $11 for this. So um, so yeah, I would probably get it without the honey next time, but I wanted to try it as is, so. All right, well, I'm gonna go look around a little bit. Uh, I got family here, so I'm gonna reach out to them. But um, yeah, stick around if you want and see what else I get into today. All right, guys, thanks for coming so far. It's a spicy, spicy day here in Wisconsin, and I'm sweating, but I'm doing it for you. All right, I'll be right back. All right, so we are headed into the Wisconsin Products Pavilion. Absolutely love it in here. There's a lot of very fun Wisconsin-y products in here. 
something. My favorite thing usually is either getting a potato, 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 or some grilled cheese sandwiches. As you can see, there's a lot going on in here. All right. Wow, it's real busy in here. It's also really hot outside, so it makes sense. It's gonna be pretty busy in here. But they have the micro brew place. They got coffee. Well, let's uh, see what else we got in here. All right, so the, the grilled cheese is probably one of my favorites, but look at this line. It starts down there, and it goes all the way down here. Now they are a pretty well-oiled machine. So I'm sure they're cranking out those sandwiches pretty quickly there. I think it does work. Well, they even have a grilled cheese pull ruler. <laughs> That's awesome. Normally, oh there it is. The Wisconsin potatoes are right down there. All the cow stuff. All right, so there's a lot of milk here and a lot of cow stuff. And uh, I got some milk. Because what's better than milk when it's 90 degrees outside? All right, I'm going to go look at that potato line. Looks like you buy your potato ticket here. And then once you buy your ticket, you can go get your potato. So what I thought was a massive line, I think just a lot of people eating. Oh. Something's going on there. All right, well, it's a lot busier here than I thought it was gonna be. I don't think I'm gonna get anything that I'm looking for, so. All right, we'll go find something else. Well guys, I actually think that's gonna do it for me. I think the milk ruined it. I shouldn't have done that. Um, I ate a lot and honestly, I just wasn't feeling hungry for anything else. So that's the way it goes. I thought I was gonna eat more and I didn't. So sorry for you guys who are hoping and expecting a little bit more, but I guess that's the way the cookie crumbles. So. But let me know what you guys try at the State Fair. Check my Instagram, uh, Hanging with Bill. I'm going to post some pictures of the places I go to on Saturday. But otherwise, uh, yeah, good stuff. All right, boys and girls, I'll see you later. Take care.